Hey Virgos, how are you guys? Welcome to your love reading for today, July 7th through to the 14th. Just like Capricorn and Taurus, I will be doing um, two readings for you guys for the time period um, to make it up to you. So like most people are going to have it from like the 1st to the 11th and the 12th to the 21st. So you're going to have from today through the 21st, but two parters. All right. So this one will be 7th to the 14th. Then there'll be another one 15th to the 21st. Okay. For Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. I am in New Orleans, coming at you from New Orleans. It's been an interesting trip so far. Okay. All right, Virgo. So first of all, tapping into your energy, you guys are very agitated. Hmm. You're very agitated. Okay. You're in, you're really running out of patience. I actually heard hurry up and deliver is what I heard. And that better not be in regards to me, Virgo. I don't think it is. For most of you, it's not. Some of you, it actually, I think it is. Um, but guys, as light workers. It's not a normal job, guys. I don't. We don't drive to work, clock in, and then clock out at five. We don't do that. Like being a light worker, it's a full time job. Like in life, all right. It's more than four hours a week. It's like twenty four seven, all right. And we're all subject to the energies. And as you guys know, we're in crazy energy. So please be patient with us, light workers. Um, we greatly appreciate your patience. It's a lot harder on us when you guys are not patient with us, and we like to deliver solid messages and solid readings to you okay so just exercise some patience but virgos you are feeling agitated you're feeling very agitated you're run out of patience it's like you're you're so aggravated um regarding a person or a situation like something just hasn't moved fast enough for your liking something hasn't come to fruition fast enough for your liking a lot of you i do feel like this is work related and others it's romance yeah others it's romance and others it's definitely work i'm definitely feeling a big like work virgo group where it's just like you know maybe you've been trying to get a promotion or maybe you've been trying to elevate your business or maybe you've been trying to get a job and it's like it just hasn't been panning out the way you've expected it to and it's like I feel, i'm feeling virgos that are like i came up with plan a plan b and plan c none of my plans are working why isn't it working virgos just be patient i know i know you hate that word. i know i just i already felt the agitation. see you guys are so agitated right now i can totally feel it you guys are so aggravated. Just calm down. All right. Just calm down. Meditate. Go for a walk. Like burn off some of this funky energy that, that you're experiencing. Okay. Um, I know, especially for those in the work situation, it is really difficult. Okay. <clears throat> and things happen in the way they're supposed to happen. So keep trying. Don't give up. By all means, do not give up, Virgos. Um, and those in the love situation, you know, I think you're just really fed up with someone's excuses. Yeah, yeah. I think some of you are just really fed up with someone's excuses. It's just like you've heard them all. You've heard every single one in the book and you're like, I, I don't need to believe anything you say at this point. Um, also others, I'm getting a group within the love scenario here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Where, you know, maybe you thought like, you know, okay, we've been dating for a while. When are we going to become exclusive? And, they, and it, you feel like they've kind of been dragging their feet a little bit. It's that kind of energy. I also saw a rhino, which was, I thought was really cool. And I do have my spirit animal deck um, <clears throat> with me on the trip. Sorry, guys, my throat is all kind of funky. And I just realized my nose is kind of funky, too. I think my allergies are just bothering me. So just hang in there with me. Um, but I did see a rhino, which is about... Like coming into, um, like not coming into, excuse me, confronting, confronting obstacles head on and really overcoming them, okay? By confronting them, being aggressive, taking that conflict or situation, obstacle by the horns and throwing it on its back, you know? That kind of energy. And Virgos, you will do it. You will do it. I know you're sick of coming up with plans. I know you're sick of coming up with a strategy. Have a strategy for yourself that first and foremost is going to give you peace of mind, okay? First and foremost going to give you peace of mind and then hopefully, you know, secondary, a plan of action that will give you the results that you want. And if it doesn't pan out, that's okay. You just gotta keep trying. But first and foremost, you have to take care of your peace of mind, okay? All right, Virgos, let's get into the pre-shuffle. So we have Cherry in reverse, Cancerian energy. Two of Wands, Aries energy. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I don't have anything on the table to protect my cards from the table, so it's hard to actually pick up the cards. Ace of Pentacles in reverse. <laughs> two of Cups in reverse. Cancerian energy could also be soulmate energy. And Two of Pentacles, Capricorn energy. I just have to say, guys, we have three twos. Two, two, two. You guys got three twos here, okay? So yeah, I'm definitely seeing like first card out, Cherry in reverse. Like, yeah, no kidding. Yeah, something's definitely not moving at the pace you want it to. It's moving... Actually, it's not it, I, hmm. feeling very standstill energy, especially with the two of wands here. 
someone isn't just dragging their feet someone glued their feet to the ground okay honestly especially in the love scenario and that's what i'm definitely feeling and those in the work scenario you know you're really you're really feeling instable regarding your finances and you're start oh oh virgo don't panic. Do not panic about your money. I understand why Virgos do panic about money. You know, if, so, if something is not right financially, don't panic. Don't panic. Do You're doing everything you can do, and that's all you can do. And just know that whatever you're experiencing, it's for a reason. Even if you feel like, I'm, I'm almost getting like spirits not on my side, like universe isn't on my side with this. It's a soulmate energy. Two of Cups is a soulmate energy, but if you think about it, spirits kind of our soulmate. Are they not? Is it not? Right? Um, yeah, spirit's not on my side, spirit's not on my side, and like really weighing out your options here, Virgo. Yeah, especially those in love scenario, you're like, someone has just stopped moving. Like, someone's just stopped moving, and I can't deal, I'm like, I'm not, I'm, I'm not okay with this. <laughs> like, Virgo, that's how you're like, I'm not okay with this bullshit, because we're really missing an opportunity, and for those in the work scenario, you're really worried about your finances, you're feeling really unstable, you might even feel like you're losing a lot of money, um, don't have much left. Some of you are worried about like making rent for the next couple months. Yeah, some of you are worried about making rent for the next couple months. Um, and again, feeling like spirits not on your side and for those in that love connection, feeling like they're not honoring it is actually what I'm getting. Like they're not respecting it. They're not respecting you. And, and in doing so, you're fucking pissed, okay? But you're really weighing your options as to what to do about it. But I do feel a lot of anxiety, Virgo. So just keep that in mind that you've got to take care of your, your state of mind first before you can start making decisions, okay? All right, guys. So for anybody who has any questions, curiosities, or confusions on how to interpret tarot readings as a viewer, go ahead and check out the link below. Let's go ahead and get into your reading, Virgo. I know you've been really waiting for it, okay? <clears throat> any messages for Virgos? Regarding love. From now until July 14th. By the way, Mercury retrograde started today. <laughs> Happy Mercury retrograde. <laughs> Any messages for Virgos regarding love? From now until July 14th. Oh. <clears throat> Any messages for Virgos regarding love? July 7th to the 14th. Show me that rhino again. Almost reminds me of Jumanji, which I love. The original. The original. I like the original. Any messages for Virgos <clears throat> regarding love? July 7th to the 4th. Oh, God. I hope I'm not getting sick. July 7th to the 14th. <clears throat> Any messages for Virgos? Let's see what we have here. Oh, my. Oh, Virgo. Seven of Swords, Aquarian energy with the Eight of Cups in reverse, Piscean energy. Someone's, okay. Virgo, I hate to say it, but it is just the season. Uh, someone's coming back and they're up to no good. I don't like it. I really don't like this energy. Um, I feel like you know they're up to no good. I mean, even if they have, okay, how do I explain this? Definitely I'm picking up no good energy like definite have like selfish intentions behind returning into your life for whatever reason or another whatever reason they're returning it is for selfish reasons i am picking up on that um but i'm also picking up on a group and you'll know the difference of, regarding the person that you okay i'm getting ahead of myself mercury retrograde is fucking up my speech virgos y'all got someone coming back for a lot of you you will know who this is just intuitively you will know and if you don't then this reading probably doesn't resonate or this prop this energy that I'm picking up on probably doesn't apply to you, but the rest of the reading may, okay? I get a lot of messages for different people sometimes. They're, so, they're, they're up to no good, very selfish reasons. Now I'm picking up on another group, Virgo, where they're just coming in wrong, okay? Like they're coming in with good intentions, but they're going about it in a really ass backwards way. And I'm getting because it's an immaturity, it's an immaturity issue out of ego, based out of ego so it's like you know it's kind of like the like the person who wants to come back because they want to make amends with you but they feel like you won't you know make amends with them if they just come at you very honest and direct so they have to like do some kind of manipulative bullshit to try and you know amend things with you but it's because they really care about you it's not for selfish reasons but they just are doing it ass backwards because they're immature and they're doing it out of ego that's another group that i'm picking up on Let's see what else we have <clears throat> Any other messages from my Virgos? 
uh, Virgos, I feel like this is attached to someone that you're energetically attached to. Um, I feel like I felt this energy before. It's almost like, um, like a sabotaging energy of like not letting someone leave, right? Like eight of cups in reverse can be someone who like, can't move on emotionally, but I'm almost feeling for this person that you're energetically attached to who's feeling that, like, I can't move on from this, I can't move on from this. There's there's a very uh, negative kind of energy keeping them from leaving whatever it is they want to leave. It's very interesting. Let's see what else we got. Any other messages from a Virgos? Regarding love, July 4th, 7th to the 14th. <laughs> I guess the 14th is going to be a big day. Let's see. <clears throat> any messages for virgos regarding love from now until july 14th any other messages for my virgos regarding love from now until july 14th oh oh shit hold on <laughs> hold on i don't know where the card went uh oh i didn't know this chair did that where did that card go okay hold on guys sorry Oh my gosh, got way up under there. <laughs> Two of Pens, Capricorn energy. So you guys have a three card reading. Interesting, and one of the cards that came out here was in your pre-shuffle, the Two of Pentacles. On the bottom of the deck, we got the Two of Cups. Uh, Cap Cancerian energy, also soulmate energy. So now you have two of the card in your pre-shuffle in your main reading. Underneath the two of cups, we do have the tower or scorpionic energy. Could also be Aries, because this is Mars influence, all right? Jesus, Virgo. All right. So like I said, we've already gone over these energies and now we're back to the two of pentacles. You trying to make some decisions here. Okay. Really trying to weigh out your options. What's best for you? How many more plans can I come up with? Again, I'm feeling a lot of frustration. Let me get some water. Mm. <clears throat> okay. Again, I'm feeling a lot of frustration from you, Virgo, of weighing out your options and trying to make it into more plans because you've already made a lot of plans and you're agitated as fuck that they haven't worked out. But for a lot of you, this is regarding a soulmate connection in love and or business, okay? But the fact that the tower's right underneath it, sorry, I'm like, this is a weird angle and with that chair, I'm a little, I'm leaning a lot forward here. Um, and with this tower right behind it, this person who might, who's returning to you, I think is causing a tower for you, okay? Let's look at the Seven of Swords and see what's going on with that. I'm gonna use Rider Waite to clarify. <clears throat> It's so funny when you have your workspace and then you have to work in a different workspace. It's hard to get used to. Okay, talking about the Seven of Swords. <clears throat> For Virgos. Regarding love. From now until July 14th. Talking about the Seven of Swords for my Virgos. Oh, whoa. The star. Whoa, Aquarian energy. Uh, okay, so you could be dealing with straight up Aquarius. I don't think so, but you could be dealing with straight up Aquarius. Um, but this like energy of returning, and again, for selfish reasons and for others, like I said, I was picking up on a group where it's like just out of immaturity and ego, it's for the right reasons, but they're doing it in a really inappropriate way. They're chasing their wish. They're chasing their dreams, okay? That's what that's what's motivating them, their dreams, their wishes, okay? And for a lot of them, that does involve you. Um, and for that selfish group I was picking up on, it's for their own damn benefit, okay? Let's see what else we got. Talking about the Seven of Swords. Talking about the Seven of Swords for Virgo regarding love. Talking about the Seven of Swords for Virgo. Ooh. Six of Cups in Reverse, Scorpionic Energy. Could also be past life, soulmate, karmic energy. So definitely someone from your past. <laughs> definitely someone from your past where I feel like um, they tried, yeah, they've tried this before, Virgo. Virgo, they've tried this before with you, but it definitely didn't work out. It definitely didn't work out last time. Um, third, second, third. For some of you, this is a third attempt. Really? Some of you, this is a third attempt. Others is a second attempt. Let's see what else we have. Tell me about the Seven of Swords. <clears throat> Tell me about the Seven of Swords. They keep giving me three, guys. They keep giving me the number three. Um, and I'm feeling like three years. 
could be months, but I'm, I'm actually feeling years. Something about three years will resonate for some of you. But they keep, oh, now they're sh like, okay, now they're showing me the number three. Three will probably be very significant for you, Virgo. Let's see what else we've got. Mm-hmm. Two of Cups in reverse, Cancerian energy, soulmate energy. For some of you, this is, oh, okay, I'm getting that business again. That's really interesting. For some of you, this is regarding a job that you really loved and that you were really passionate about. Um, you could have had a lot of people there who were part of your soul tribe, which is part of the reason you liked it. You might be getting another offer, but I don't like the way it's coming in. So just be cautious. If you want to take it, read the fine print, okay? But two of cups in reverse. Um, again, this is definitely regarding this, this person for those where this is a romantic situation. It definitely didn't work out before. It definitely did not work out before or the many times that it, it's already, you know, they've already tried this with you, but they want, they want back in. They want back in, again, for some selfish reasons, others, they want back in. They're just going about it really inappropriately. Tell me about the seven of swords. Like, I feel like they're not telling you everything, Virgo. I think that's the big core of the inappropriateness. They're not telling you the whole story. They're going to tell you a story, but they're not going to tell you everything. Tell me about seven of swords for Virgo. Yeah, tell me about Seven of Swords for Virgo. Oh, geez. All right, now we have Judgment in Reverse, Fire Energy, also Scorpionic Energy for me as a reader. Ten of Swords, Gemini Energy. Wow, and the Ten of Pentacles in Reverse, Virgo Energy. Well, this was a major ending. Whatever this was, Virgo, it was very painful. The last time you engaged with this person and I feel like there was a major loss a major loss and like I said for those where this was a job yeah it's a job where I think you're probably fired or let go um because god I'm like I'm feeling with the ten of swords not only was it an end but that's the amount of pain that you went through with this person and like I said that okay that work keeps coming in guys yeah for some of you it's it's gonna be an offer from a boss from a boss who lets you go I know that's very specific but that's how it's coming to me um, and others where this is a romantic situation, you were probably building with this person, building a very long-term kind of foundation. Maybe you were thinking about moving in together. Maybe you did live together. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Maybe you shared in the finances. Maybe you, you know, cared for them financially. They cared for you financially. It's that kind of seriousness, okay? And that came to an end at one point. And with judgment in the reverse here, though, the way that they're coming in, spirit is like, no, 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 no. <laughs> Spirit does not like the way this person's coming in. Spirit doesn't like the way this person's coming in. Overall energy for the Seven of Swords, we do have King of Wands in reverse. So Leo energy could also be fire or air. Mm, yeah, I don't like that. Definitely don't like that. King of Wands in reverse is kind of a funky character. Because King of Wands upright is very um extroverted people tend to find them very charming. They can be very flirty, but they also mean business, right? They can be very entrepreneurial. Um very close to the king of pentacles which i put right under the emperor for me personally that's not a tarot thing it's just a meat a water baby thing <laughs> um but when a king of wands is in reverse that fire to create turns on itself to anger and resentment right and a need to control very much like an emperor would be like um yeah, I, I don't like the way they're coming in here, Virgo. I feel like they're coming in because maybe they've gone through some hardship recently and they want to continue chasing their dreams. If I could pick those up. They want to continue chasing their dreams, okay? And you are a, you're a piece of that for whatever reason or another, and it's going to be different reasons for all of you, but you are a piece of that, whether this is business or love. With business, I feel like key, like a key, like a crucial part of the business. Yeah, Virgos, if this is a business thing for you, I think that when you were let go, because I'm feeling strongly like you were pushed to the side. Like, it's not like you, I don't think you left voluntarily. Um, at least it doesn't feel that way. And if you did leave voluntarily, you probably felt like that was your only option. Yeah, if any of you left voluntarily, you felt like it was your only option here. But you were a very key part of the process of the business, whatever those processes were. Um, yeah. And I feel like this king is kind of scrambling here to like to continue chasing the dream and you're a key part of that like i said wow all right let's move on let's move on to the two of pentacles and look at your you weighing out your options here okay i'm going to use the gilded tarot to clarify <clears throat> talking about the two of pentacles oh and i just realized because of how many twos you guys have 
you actually, funny, you have three twos now again in your reading here. Um, Cause they were showing me threes, right? Um, that's your next step. Your next step is the threes. You're about to progress. All right, tell me about the two of pentacles. <clears throat> the two of pentacles for virgos regarding love july 7th to the 14th oh man i'm gonna have to modify this little situation here <laughs> tell you about the two of pentacles for my virgos regarding love from now until july 14th So remember how I was saying spirit is like, no, 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 about how this person's coming in. Spirit wants this person to come in more humble. They're going to come in a little arrogant. I think because that's because they're scrambling a little bit here, Virgo. Tell me about two of pentacles. Tell me about two, which by the way, is very indicative of the energy we're in with all this Leo energy. People are very cocky right now, even if they don't have a leg to stand on. Tell me about two of pentacles for Virgo. Regarding love, from now until July 14th, let's see what we've got here. Wow, we have a Knight of Cups. Piscean energy could also be water or fire. I'm feeling like you're thinking about this person in a Knight of Cups energy. Yeah, it's like, this is how they're coming to you and you're definitely seeing that. They're coming in very charming. Yeah, be careful with that. They're coming in very charming. But here's you, Virgo, and this Eight of Pentacles energy, very Virgo. You're very focused and you're analyzing the shit out of their offer. <laughs> I love it. I love it, Virgo. You're really eyeballing it. You're like, you're looking at every crack, every little changing color. You're like, I don't know. Mm -mm. I'm looking at every detail here. And then you have the Five of Pentacles, Taurian energy. You're looking at it because this is the state that you feel like you're in, Virgo, whether you're really there or not. And I say that a lot in my readings because I am in a lot, a lot of times when things come out in readings, it's about perceptions, what people feel and what people are thinking. But what people, <clears throat> excuse me, but what people feel and think are not necessarily the truth, right? Because we have our own biases. You feel like you're in a Five of Pentacles state where it's like you've not, no, a couple of you, you feel like you've hit rock bottom in a tangible way. So again, I'm feeling that money aspect here. Yeah, again, a lot of you, this is because of work. You're really analyzing it because you want to get out of this five of pentacles energy of maybe feeling a little down or a little low or hurting financially, hurting emotionally, feeling emotionally alone and unsupported. So that's why you're really looking at it because they're being charming they're coming in a little arrogant, a little cocky, and they might actually be, yeah, I feel like for some of you, they're going to be saying A, B, C, D, E that they're going to be offering you, but really they're only offering you A and B. Like I said, they're not going to tell you everything. And I think you kind of know that deep in your core, which is why you're analyzing the shit out of it. All right, tell me more about this Two of Pentacles. Tell me more about this Two of Pentacles. Ooh, there we go. Tell me about this. Wow, a lot of Aquarian energy. Tell me about Two of Pentacles for Virgo regarding love from now until July 14th. Okay. Now we have, excuse me, the Queen of Cups. Cancerian energy could also be Pisces or Scorpio with the King of Swords. Aquarian energy, excuse me, uh, could also be Gemini or Libra. This is definitely the two of you here. Yeah, they're coming across as a King of Swords now. So they're a King of Wands, King of Swords energy. It could be a Gemini because they're coming out as two different court cards. Uh, but you're coming across as a Queen of Cups here. Oh, tender. I just heard tender. You've been a little tenderized, Virgo. And definitely in that sense. You've been a little tenderized by this person and whatever's gone down in the past that was upsetting. Whatever's gone down that was upsetting, okay? Um, they definitely had a lot of, they've definitely got a lot of tricks. They know a lot of tricks. I'll say it that way. They know a lot of tricks. They might not use them on you if they, you know, if they're genuine. And for a couple of you, like I said, they are because they're just coming from an immature place because they feel like you won't really hear them out. Um, but they've really tenderized you. And I feel like it's because they've been up to antics in the past. You're having you're having a, a hard time kind of trusting this person, especially those where this is like a business offer and like they let you go. Right. Or it's like you feel like you didn't have a choice that you had to leave. It's because it was just, it made, it made you tender. It made you tender. 
you're bruised from this person. Over energy for the Two of Pentacles, we do have Knight of Wands in reverse. Sagittarian energy could also be Aries or Leo. Yeah, you feel you feel like they're unpredictable. You feel like any situation with them will be unpredictable, which is why you're also weighing out these options and you're like, okay, I could come up with plan A to E or A to Z, but there's always that chance that they'll let me go again. Or there's always that chance that things are gonna get messed up again because they're gonna go into their old antics. Yeah, Virgos, it looks like by the end of this that you're still kind of in contemplation here. And I feel like you're gonna be in contemplation for a little while, okay? Like probably even past the full moon, which is what, the 16th or 17th? I think it's the 16th. I could be wrong, but it's like 16th, 17th. Um, I gotta double check that. But anyway, yeah, by the end of this timeline energy that I'm picking up on, you're still in contemplation mode because you don't really trust them. You know they've got tricks up their sleeve. You've been down this road before and you've been tenderized by the situation. Yeah, I can feel it. You're really not trusting them. So Virgos, it's planning time, okay? It's planning time. It's meditation time in order to go about the situation. Don't let this person throw you either because I can already feel you're agitated with your current situation regarding career and or love, whatever this situation is applying to. And then with this person coming in with this offer, you're just like, mm. <laughs> you're just like, yeah, I don't know about that. I don't know. And it might even make you more agitated. So it's try to stay as grounded as possible during this time, especially with all this fire energy that we're in. Cause Virgo, you are earth. Fire is not particularly your friend. Okay. Um, stay grounded okay do whatever you can to stay grounded and you'll you'll get through this you'll get through this time it's going to be a bit of a challenge though let's go ahead and get some advice for you all right hey any advice for my virgos <laughs> oh this table hold on guys okay any advice for my virgos regarding this spread Any advice for my Virgos regarding this spread? And this is definitely a soulmate, guys. Someone from your soul tribe here. Um, so just, you know, keep that in mind as well. That our soulmates are sometimes are really just meant to teach us lessons, right? You'll get to the right choice and the right plan. The right plan of action. Any advice for my Virgos Oop. regarding this spread? I would not be surprised if the rhino comes out. Any advice for my Virgos regarding this spread? Any, let's see what we got here. First card out, elephant spirit. Learn from the past. 25 breaking down to a seven. Being on your path and heading in the right direction, right? You're, you're at a crossroads because of this person. They're putting you in a, in a little bit of a hard place. Spirit's basically saying, call upon your wisdom from what you've already dealt with with this person, okay? Um, You'll know the right thing to do as long as you're grounded. You'll know the right thing to do as long as you're grounded and you really don't forget the past. It's okay to forgive shit people do to you, but don't forget so that you don't forget the lesson. All right, now we have two other cards. Wasp spirit, sometimes life stings. 64, which is a cyclical energy, so cycles closing, cycles opening. And canary spirit, sing your own song with the number 12 breaking down to a three here, okay? Um, I feel like you're getting, I feel like you're working with spirit quite a bit, actually, which is good. You need to in this Virgo. Yeah, stay as connected as possible so you can keep working with spirit so you can stay grounded and true to yourself and to speak some truth to this person. I feel, again, they really tenderized you. I keep wanting to say the word tenderized. They tenderized you, okay? All right, Virgo with that wasp spirit. And for that, for you, a little bit of that pain is still there. It's, it's still there. I feel like even if you don't take, <laughs> excuse me. I feel like if even if you don't take this person's offer, even if you're like, yeah, no, I'm good. Thank you. Um, I think it's time to also speak some truth, though, about what, what went down and how it really affected you and how it actually tenderized you. I think it'll just add a little bit of closure for you. And it might even close the door for good on this person, which is what Mercury retrogrades are really good for, include especially eclipses. Let's see what else we have. Any other advice for my Virgos? Any other advice for my Virgos regarding this spread? Any other advice for my Virgos regarding this spread? Okay. Ha! We have the rhino. 
but hold on, I'm gonna save them for last. So we have one other card out here. Dear spirit, bring a gentle touch, 18, breaking down to a nine, completions. What did I say about tenderized? They tenderized you, Virgo. Isn't this such a Virgo-like card? I mean, God, look at that. With the doughy eyes. I, lo I love dear for you, actually. And very earthy energy as well. Oh, Virgo. Mm. They definitely tenderized you. Um, and in a way that, again, feels just very bruising. Like, oh my God. For some of you, you know, it's interesting. Virgos, I'm picking up on a group of you. I'm feeling more masculine Virgos. So maybe my, my men Virgos here. Where... It tenderized you in a way where it kind of shed some layers, you know, it sheds, it shed some of your jadedness. Like sometimes when we really go through the ringer, sometimes we become jaded, right? Other times it really kind of just strips away big pieces of us that maybe we're just like our armor or our guard and it made you more tender, right? Made you more tender, more receptive to. I'm also getting recept receptivity. It's a hard word to say. Receptivity. Um, yeah, it made you more receptive to love and emotion. Oh my God. Uh, through the pain, you were able to love more. That's for some of you, which is freaking beautiful. Now, Virgos, are you ready? This is your overall advice. I'm not even kidding you. Oh my God. I like. I had a feeling it was gonna come out. Anyway, Rhino Spirit. Overcome any obstacle. <laughs> 50 breaking down to a five, change. Remember, we have the tower right behind this two of cups, right? This person is bringing down the tower and it is an obstacle for you. It is a challenge because like I said, for some of you, this is a work opportunity and you might be very tempted to take it because I am picking up on some Virgos who are struggling financially and it's like, damn, I really need that money, but being in that situation was really horrible. And like I said, for some of you, you were let go. And it's like, how, you know, it's like, how could you feel good about returning to a job that are they already fired you from, right? Like my first thought, I'm sure for a lot of you is like, what's going to stop them from firing me again or letting me go again, right? You can overcome this, Virgo. You can overcome this. Dig deep with your strength and of spiritual strength, spiritual strength more than anything, okay? Having the faith that things are happening in the way they're supposed to happen and this opportunity is coming around to either learn a lesson from it right? Or to cement a lesson you've already learned, to cement a lesson you've already learned about this person and about these kinds of situations, okay? You will know what to do. Like I said, you just got to stay grounded, stay grounded, meditate, find your balance, Virgo, because you started this reading off very agitated and that's not going to help you think straight, okay? This person is coming in, they're coming from a total headspace, they're thinking rationally, they're thinking straight, and they're very strategic. You got to harness a little bit more of that energy in order to get through this because, like I said, they've, they've tenderized you. Around them, you're a queen of cups. And Virgos, you are mercurial. You are the magician. You could be queen of wands. You could be the queen of swords. You don't have to be the queen of cups when it comes to this person. And I actually do feel like that's probably better you're not, actually. Um, because they've tenderized you, it's like when you're around them, you kind of get triggered into that emotional heart space. You need to be more in this kind of a space, okay, when you're dealing with this person. You got to match them at that kind of energy. Otherwise, I feel like you might miss something here. And you know, Virgos, because you are mercurial, even though you're Earth, you are of the mind. You are of the mind. And yes, you can be very yummy, too, because you are Virgos. You're also earthy with that nurturing aspect. Harness that mercurial energy. Harness that magician energy to be in a very, like, he very much a headspace, a strategic space to match this person, to understand exactly what it is they're trying to get from you, okay? All right, Virgos, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Don't forget to go on uh, Patreon, check that out, along with Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Um, and I am almost on a, you know, regular comfort zone here to do more readings but yeah i'm glad i could get this one done for you guys i know you guys have been really waiting for it um but i will see you guys soon okay have a great night virgos i don't know why i almost called you gemini's probably because it's your sister's side have a good night virgos i'll see you later namaste